That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. Monday. You, you <laughs> love Normandy or Mahomes, <laughs> Normandy right? Normandy or Mahomes. It <laughs> might be our fantasy team name next year. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. Okay, let's start. Right. Aaron Rodgers, guys. The championship window has closed. That's a total overreaction. Are you kidding me? This team is young. It's gotten younger. Gouda Koons, who is shopping for the groceries there, has nailed it on so many picks. Oh, please. They just need to give the ball to the other Aaron a lot more than they do. All right? You give the ball to the other Aaron literally 25% more times, you might be in a better spot. Or you're going against a team that you can't match up well against. It happens in the NFL. And you're going against a team that you don't match up well against in the NFL that is red hot. Red hot with a play caller who is a diamond in the rough at the top of his game. Aaron Rodgers has his championship window open. And I am not here in the same way I was not here for the Lamar Jackson hate. I'm not here for the Rodgers hate. I'm just not. I remember would take after, a, remember uh, after week one, oh, Rodgers please. was like, oh, we got a defense. Eh, defense didn't really show up yesterday. No, but the defense has some problems with the run game. They have all year long. And again, the, 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 the schemes that this guy comes up with in Shanahan, the way that they execute it, you don't know where the guy's coming from. They always have the most difficult angle. And you got a guy in Mostert that is... Raheem's making the mustard of the situation. Hey, now. I mean, come on now. I mean, it's a, it, they just yeah. mat, they don't match up well against the, the now NFC champion 49ers. It just it happens, and I think they're, they're ready to roll next year. I think they will be an NFC favorite in 2020 for a good reason. What else? Andy Reid, everyone talking about him being a – Hall of Fame head coach. Yes. He needs to win this Super Bowl to lock up a spot in Ken. I, I think yeah. that's uh, what's on the line. And I think you have nailed what will be one of the top 10 storylines of the Super Bowl. You know, we normally do that on this show. Yep. At some point this week, I will go through the top 10 storylines that you'll be hearing throughout the week in Miami next week. Andy Reid is one of them. And Mariucci pointed out uh, that he's got – a long time to go coaching. He is not near the end of the road coaching. And he's now attached to the hip at the most dynamic kid that we've seen at the position in quite some time. Already back-to-back -back AFC championship game hosts in his first two years as a starting quarterback. So you got to figure somewhere between, with health, 10 to 12 wins a year on average over the next several years if they make sure that they shop right uh, on defense. Please. I mean, so Reed just needs that centerpiece for the man spread centerpiece would be the ring this year. Go get it. As Mooch said, tick that box now and be done with it. Yeah, Andy Reed's 61 years old. He's 61. So if he coaches till he's 71, 10 more years, that would be maybe on average 100 more wins. He's already got 200 wins. I mean, he could he could threaten what what we're talking about, the rarefied air of Shula, Belichick and Landry right now. How jealous do you think Belichick is that uh, Andy Reid at this age has a quarterback like Mahomes? Or the fact that there's Jimmy G out there in San Francisco in the Super Bowl. But they did stick with Brady to get three out of five. I yeah. mean, that's kind of good, right? That's pretty good. Uh -huh. All right, Derrick Henry, uh, going to be one of the top free agents coming up uh, next month. Yes. Uh, in March. Yes. He's going to top Zeke as the highest paid running back next year. Hmm. I, I don't think that's an overreaction at all. There you go, man. I mean, what else? <laughs> there's my, there's my, re I mean, you, short of winning it all, you got to say that's as close to a walkier performance, uh, like since Flacco, right? It's pretty good. Like here's, here's my, here's my postseason resume. Put that right on the desk with a sack of money saying, pay me, you know, the Titans have to re-sign Tannehill and have to get this guy in the fold and go to work. If you had to choose, Tennessee can only have one. Oh, Derrick Henry. I didn't stutter. Okay. I mean, we just, we just took somebody from the Miami Dolphins team, acquired him for a mid-level draft pick, had the team that we're taking him from pay about 75 to 80% of his salary, and almost made the Super Bowl with that guy. So, 
we can maybe plug and play. But I take Derrick Henry for the next three, four years at that price. What else, sir? Chiefs, 49ers. This is the best possible Super Bowl matchup that we could have got. Oh, well, based, you mean based of the on Chiefs. who we had coming yesterday or just in the, the totality uh, of the... Just in general, how the year kind of played out. We have the offensive uh, you know, explosiveness of the Chiefs, uh, defense run-heavy 49ers, uh, the coaching storylines, the quarterbacks. It is great, yeah. Uh, you know, what, what, what do you think about uh, Saints-Patriots? How would that have worked? How about, how about Cowboys-Patriots? How do you think that would have worked? Or Cowboys-Ravens? Just contrasting styles. Or Cowboys-Chiefs. Styles. Styles make fights. I know that. Okay. Yeah, we, got, we got a good style here. What else do you have over there? Uh, the Chiefs' slow start. Terrible. The last two games in the first quarter especially. It's going to cost them. Could be their undoing in the Super Bowl. That's a good one, Mon. That's a good one. How can you say that's an overreaction? How can you say that? Texans go up 24 nothing. Titans go up uh, four, you know, 17-7. Yeah, if you fall behind two, two three Francisco scores against could, San Francisco. San Francisco, I know. Defense, take the air out of the ball. But, I mean, and here comes Mahomes with Hill and their own tight end. I mean, the Niners did that yesterday with Garoppolo only throwing, what, seven passes? Was that the final? Eight. Eight. And only one to Kittle. They're basically like, yeah, Yeah, Garoppolo to Kittle. Kittle, We'll just beat you without that. That's not a problem. We didn't even see the full 49ers offense yesterday. Right. Yeah, they were up 27 (laughs) nothing and just (laughs) bled them dry. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You got one more over there? Yeah, one more. Uh, let's go. The Niners four-win team uh, last year. Giants four-win team this year. The Giants are going to be in the Super Bowl next year. All right. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no. How about this? Which team in the Which... top five you think has the best shot to go from worst to first, like the 49ers? Uh, top five? Well, why don't we go top? Why don't we go top eight since they all – had five wins. Okay. Top eight. Why not the Chargers of Los Angeles when Tom Brady strolls into town and says, I got it. They are ready made. All they got to do is get a trigger man who doesn't throw 20 interceptions and a healthier season. I don't want to put it all on Phillip. You can't. You can't put it all on Phil. No, Rivers. but they have injuries every Well, year. they also didn't have their, their running back for the first third of the season because of all that craziness wow. with not paying him and not figuring out how to get the holdout over. And then there's the usual injuries where Derwin James, their best player on defense, didn't play for the first two months. Let me Give me the, the Chargers team from two years ago coming back and obviously, if with Philip living in Florida, it sure doesn't look like the guy's going to be able to take, what, uh, a, a flight to Los Angeles or, or get a spot here in L.A. while his rest of his family lives in Florida? I mean, let's be honest here. I can't see that. Okay. I mean, it's one thing to get your, your, your sort of rolling film van like he had last year. If he didn't want to displace his family last year when he's in Los Angeles, how is he going to move him to Florida and play in Los Angeles? I mean, let's be honest here. They're going to be in the business of a new quarterback, and they need Tom Brady here. So I will take the 5-11 and 11 Chargers. Your thoughts, Chris Brockman? I can't see Brady Your other choices are the Bengals with Joe Burrow, the Redskins with Ron Rivera, and the other choices that they made, and it's going to be second-year Dwayne Haskins – Getting the light on. The Lions doing whatever they do. The Giants, the Dolphins, the Chargers, the Panthers, or the Cardinals. Panthers yeah. with Cam and Matt Rule, but we've already heard from a couple of our guests that that doesn't seem to be the right fit. I think of those teams, Chargers, most logical. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.